Ping Chin Sun Yi from FDMK, leading software development course. My name is Malik Abdusamad Sulwi, I'm from Yemen. I, my course is uh, software development. Uh, uh, the faculty is FDMK, and I'm studying at UTM University. My name is Mama from Yakima Bizanri. I'm from BITS, uh, Faculty of Information, Communication and Technology, uh, UTEM, Raku. Hi, my name is Nur Zafira binti Muhammad Yusof, FTMK, one BITS, Mr. Technical Malaysia, Melaka. Thank you. Today, we are required to create a program to be run in QK Spin, which allowed the user to input 10 random numbers. After the user entered the numbers, this program should be able to display the numbers that have been sorted in descending order, maximum and minimum numbers, sum and average of the entered numbers. For this project, we use array and loop as the method to solve the given problems. What is array? Array is a sequence of elements stored inside a given address. The elements of the array were based on the data type of the array placeholder. The giga type used in this project is integer. What is loop? Loop is a control structure that calls the statements to repeat. Let's see the code. Firstly, we focus on the dot data part. Dot data contains the declaration for the array and the strings. We declare the array with a size of 40 bytes as each number needs 4 bytes, and we need 10 numbers. For the strings, they were declared using .ASCIIZ. ASCII means the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, while the Z means the string is terminated by the now character, or ASCII code 0. Next, we see the initialization part. This part insert values into the registers. We initialize register S1, S5, T1, and T2 with 0, while register S2 with 10. Then, register S3 was declared as an address for the array. Now we are going to use the first loop for the program which is for the user input. Since we already initialized the register S1 to 0, we use that as a counter i, register s2 as a sentinel value, which is 10. The purpose of this line is to compare the first value, which is the counter i, with the sentinel value. This line tells the program to execute the next line if the condition in this line is satisfied. In this case, if the counter i reach 10, the loop will end and jump to the loop input and program. For this part, this will prompt the user to enter the number by displaying the string in string in the console. Next part, after the user enter a number, it will save it to the register S4, where it holds the value for a while. Then we move the value from the S4 to the first array position, which is position 0. After that, this line will add 1 to the counter, while the next line will move the array pointer by 4 bytes. This line reset the loop, starting the program from the loop input branch until the condition is satisfied. Sort the number in the decreasing order. BEQ is used for a branch and if register S5 is equal to 9, this process will continue to consort. So, we start for the first sorting. LW is used to load number in array element 0 to T3 and element 1 into T4. Then, the system will compare the number of T3 and T4. BGE is the branch if T3 is greater or equal to T4, the sorting process will be repeated. Else, T3 and T4 will exchange their position. Then, the sorting process will be repeated 9 times until the value in register S5 is equal to 9 and we will continue to the function consort. This function is just to continue sorting 
and the process will be same with the previous process and it will stop when register 1 is equal to 9. LI register V0 for indicate system call for print string. So, use the function to load the string out string 3. Use the LW to load the number inside the array to register A0 and system will print out the array element 0. This function is to provide the space between the number when we print out the result so the result will be more compatible. This process will loop 10 times to print all the number in array. To print out the maximum and minimum number, we call the value of first and the last element in array using array pointer. This process has been more simple because we had arranged the number in the array in descending order. Now let's get it started with the sum. We use a combination of SLT and PAQ to perform the branch operation. The SLT instruction compute if the loop counter which is I is less than the sentinel value condition which is 10. And here the program will load uh, the ready pointer to the register the to the register S4. Now I want to add this element which is register S4 to the sum which is register T1. Then I want to update the array address by doing or writing this array register S3 register S3 4. And uh, while the counter that does not reach the sentinel value, which is 10, the program will jump back to the label branch. And once the value of counter is equal to the sentinel value, the program will end, as we know. And now let's move to the second part, which is the average part. And in this part, I'm going to explain the calculation of the average. We divide the value register T1, which is the sum, by register S2, which is the sentinel value, which is 10. Uh, here we have MFHI, which means move from high. And it is the remainder of the division. And also we have MFLO, which means move from low. And it's the answer of the division. Now we are going to print out the sum and average of the array. Okay, first we use this command to print out the string out string into the console, which is the total sum of integers. And then we move the value of sum in register T1 to A0. After that, this command will print out the value at register A0. We are done for the sum part. Now we move to the average. Just like the sum part, we use this command to print out the string out string 2 into the console, which is the total average of integers. And then we move the value of average in register T2 into A0. After that, this command will print out the value at register A0. This command is to print out the dot between the answer and the remainder. For the last part, we move the value of the remainder in the register T3 to A0. This command will print it out. This part is to end the program system. Now, let us see how the program runs in Qt Spin console. Okay, when you run the program, it will prompt the user to enter number. The process loop for 10 times and after that, the program prints out the answers. Now, we have come to the end of our video. 
If you have any question, do leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your attention.